Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining this tutorial. This is the 7th Excel 2007 tutorial and I'm going to cover a couple things in here and it's really talking about worksheet operations but we're going to talk about name and range, name um, a range of cells like a list for example. Um, talk about data validation which is a way of validating the data that is put into cells um, con making users conform to the appropriate, um, appropriate uh, data entry. Uh, we're going to talk about how to hide a worksheet and also how to protect a workbook. Okay, so jumping right in here, what I've done here is I've created a um, just a basic template. And in this case, we're creating a mailing list. So this might be, you know, you've got someone, uh, you know, collecting information from somebody or you're having someone do data entry and you just want to make sure they conform uh, to, the, to appropriate standards and defaults. So for example, I'll start to fill this in and show you what um, an, an example here where we might use a list and, and data validation. So if we have a, uh, an address and a user, Mike Smith lives at 123 Main Street, and we'll say they live in uh, Miami, and then they live in Florida. So you might have a user type FLA, and then they might typo the zip code and put in six characters, then they might put in for the four digit extension, they might put in three characters. So you know this isn't going to work for a mailing a mailing code because they all have to be two two um, character state codes. This has the wrong number of digits in it and this has the wrong number of digits in it. So what we're going to do here is we want to validate this data. So we're going to get rid of that and what I've done here is, a, if you look at sheet two here, I've created a list of the state codes. And what I've done is I've gone up here and I've named these. So what you do is highlight your highlight your cells that you want to create a list in. And to highlight them again, click on the cell A1, click and hold the left mouse button and just drag it down until you get to the last cell that you want to, in your range. And then whatever that name is there, highlight it and, and type the new name. So I'm going to call it state. And then if I go over here to my mailing list again, and I want to validate everything in this state column, I'm going to, I'm going to highlight the cells that I want to conform to that, that um, list. And then I click on, if I'm on the home button, I click on data, data validation. And over here, we're looking at our validation criteria. So instead of allow any value, we say allow a list. And then the source, we say equal to, and we just put the name of the list. Then click OK. You notice what happens here is it has a drop down list. If I try to type in FLA now, I get an error. OK? So zip code, we know we always want it to be five, five characters. So I do the same thing, I highlight those cells, I click data validation, and I change it to text length, and I say is equal to, and then I put in the length I put equals to five, click OK. Same thing for the four digit extension. Four digit um, zip code uh, extension, and I'm gonna say text length equal to, equal to four, okay? So now, I have to conform to this list. If I typo the number of characters, it gives me an error. So this is going to reduce your data entry error, errors. And then also, same thing here. So I have four characters. If I were to do five characters, I would get an error. OK? So uh, one thing I want to mention here, if you need to edit this name range, right, let's say I wanted to come back and add in the Virgin Islands or something like that as a valid code, that would that would alter my name range. So what I could do there is I can go under formulas and I can go to name manager under the define names category here. And you see it's here and you can edit it here if you want to. For example, go to A51, for example. If you want to delete this whole range and just start from scratch, click delete, or you could even name a range here, okay? Um, next thing I wanted to show you 
is if you're taking this sheet and now you're going to mail it to somebody or put it on a put it on a server drive or whatever and have people use it you might have this list over here and you might have another list of other valid information and another list and so forth so you might not want them to see this sheet here so what you can do is right click it and say hide and it will just hide that sheet but you can see it's still there it's still valid okay uh, to unhide it it's very simple you click um, you sorry let me do that again you right click on the existing sheet and just say unhide and it will ask you what you want to unhide as far as sheets go alright so one other thing I wanted to point out is there is another way to hide a sheet um, that would be um, lock them down more but to unhide it would require um, some visual basic for applications that we'll, we'll touch on much later in another lesson okay so but for right now I just want to show you how to do a basic hide of that sheet and then the last thing that I want to show you is I'm going to go ahead and hide this again is if you want to protect this sheet what you can do is go to review I'm sorry protect protect the workbook passwords optional so I'll type a short password we're going to go ahead in this case check the structure option and click OK and it's going to ask you for the password again say OK and what that's going to prevent um, people from doing is if I give this to someone else they can't go over here they can't add a worksheet um, they can't if they right click you notice that the um, a lot of the options are gone like insert delete rename move or copy so they're not able to alter your sheet um, you know as easily or, or they're not able to alter the you know alter the overall workbook you know they can still go in and type all their data and so forth in here but they can't go and add worksheets or delete them for that matter so one other quick note about this is I wouldn't I wouldn't take this as valid protection for very sensitive data credit cards social security numbers things like that because um, those those passwords could be cracked in, uh, in Excel so I think that's about it for what I wanted to show you today and thanks for joining and don't forget to subscribe I'm going to be adding a lot more Excel videos soon if you want to see anything in particular let me know and other topics uh, let me know also thanks